Well, hello. Today I am going to do a video for you um, showing how to use my template and upload it into Design Space um, uh, to put on your mug. I'll do another, a separate video later on how to adhere it um, to the actual mug. But for now, we'll stay in Design Space. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to File, New. Well, well first, you can actually upload it. Mine are already uploaded, but I'll just show you that process real quick. So, I'm going to click on Upload. Um, and you will be at your home screen doing that part. Um, and I'm going to choose Upload Image. I'm going to browse for the image. And then when I get the image, I'll just choose 12 ounce. I'm going to hit OK. Now, you're going to get this that says um, SVG contain items that are not supported, which are text. And that's just the text that you see, um, which tells you 12 ounce or 15 ounce. I actually should have deleted that or made it an outline, but I'm actually happy that it doesn't come in because that's not text that's intended for you to actually um, print in your design. And if you're new to it, you might not know to do that. So I'm gonna hit continue and um, it's gonna show me a cut image and I can either tag this if I want. I'm just gonna say part two since I already have one so that I can, um, or I'll say duplicate so that I'll know for myself um, to get rid of this. Okay, so duplicate two. I can enter tag words and it is really uh, beneficial for you to put your tag words in here like um, template or you know mug press, 12 ounce and stuff like that. And that's because as you put more in here, it grows. So this will make it easier for you to find the specific template that you want. I'm not gonna do that now. That's only because like I said, I'm gonna um, uh, delete this one later, but just so that you know, good idea to do that. So I'm gonna hit upload. Okay, so now I have it um, uploaded. I'm going to select it. Let me make sure this is the right one. Oh, I want the duplicate. All right, so I'm gonna select it. And then I'm gonna go over here where it says insert image and insert the image. So it's gonna come into design space and the color is black, but this is pretty easy to change. All you do if you wanna see um, the white, this really doesn't matter as this is going to be um, just a blank template. But if you're gonna, if you're planning to put um, like a wrap, like wrap your actual design all around it, it's gonna be um, whatever the color of that wrap is. But I'm gonna go up here and I'm going to just choose white. All right, and then now you can see the edges um, of your design. So now I'm going to insert, oh, oh yeah. The question was about the size. Okay, so if I click on this, notice this menu up here is context sensitive. So it's actually showing you the width and the height um, and the position um, of the uh, that it is on your X and Y axis, which means just on your page. So the width of this is 10.31, which is the width of that 12 ounce mug. It doesn't wrap all the way around it. It wraps um, like these little tips will wrap all the way around it, but your design is going to stop here. Um, and then your, and that's so that, so that the ink doesn't get into the actual space, um, and that space is protected. So, um, Cricut mugs do have like the little edge where the handle is of where there's not going to be a design. And then the height is 3.802. Um, and this has been tested and it actually fits the mugs. Um, so this is the height that it should be. But just in case you're super new and you don't you know know what to do next, I'll go ahead and insert like I don't know. Let me just grab. Uh, you know what? Holidays just passed. So let me just do a Saint Hattie's day. All right, and so. Um, another thing I always think about, because I hate weeding. Now, if you're one of those people who love weeding, then grab something that you know that you can weed all day. Um, weeding with infusible ink is much easier than weeding with um, vinyl to me. Um, so I usually try to find designs. If I'm going to use a design here, I'll try to find a design that's uh, pretty simple and easy to make. So this right here for me, pretty simple <laughs> and easy to make. And I'm going to grab a few. I kind of like this hat, but I also like this. So maybe for the other side, I'll do that one. And then for kicks and giggles, I'll go ahead and grab this one. Okay, so I have all three. All right, and notice you know that they're selected because the green area is around 
um, highlighted around. So I have all three of those selected. So I'm going to hit insert images. And what's going to happen is all three images come and they come um, pretty much, it looks like they're grouped, but they're not really, but they come in together. So all I have to do is click off to grab the individual ones and then I can move them around. So I think I'm going to start here and then I could either, yeah, I usually try to go in just a little bit. Um, let me try, let me see. So right now I'm just positioning it. Typically I'm very, very particular on how I um, lay these out, but since it's a tutorial, I'm gonna try to um, just eyeball it and let myself loose. That's what I'm gonna try to do. I'm gonna try to loosen up a little bit, okay. All right, so now I have these and if I want to make sure that they're aligned, like meaning I want this to be um, centered to this, I'm going to just uh, click and drag and now I just have these two images and if you ever wanna check to see, your layers panel is over here and it's showing you what is selected. So with that selected, now I have this align up here. I'm gonna click on align and I'm gonna align it vertically. And if you look at this, this kind of tells you, okay, you're gonna align it this way. That means the top and the bottom. I'm gonna do the same with the one over here. I'm gonna go to align and I'm gonna go to vertically. Um, so this is gonna be one side of the mug. This can be another side of the mug. If I wanted to be adventurous, I could bring St. Patrick's Day and make that in the center. And if I wanna find the center of the mug, I'm gonna highlight those. And then I'm going to go to align and I'm going to go to um, align horizontally. I'm going to go back to align and I'm going to align it vertically. So now it's sitting um, aligned. So if I like this, then I know that this is the center of the mug um, and these are the edges. And if I want to be more specific, I could because as I can see, oh, I think I moved it a little bit. Let me see. Okay. And Anything that you don't want to do that you did, you can always undo. You can also select and use your arrow keys that are on your computer, like the left, right, up and down, um, to move these around if you'd like as well. I think I'm going to be happy with that. And so when I am happy and I have it, that's when I can go to make it and I can go ahead and start um, cutting this out on the mat and adhering this to um, to the the mug. So I don't want the video to go super long. I just want to make sure I got uh, the basics of that one. So this one, the 12 ounce mug, um, that's the size of that one. If you guys need any other assistance, please let me know. Don't, I would not hesitate to um, help you guys out, um, especially with newbies. I was a newbie too, you know. I'm kind of now like an an okay bee, you know. <laughs> I don't want to say that I'm an advanced one or anything like that. Um, I'm still learning every single day. Um, new stuff, and I always like to, and I'm a teacher naturally, so I'm definitely going to try to uh, expand what I know um, to other pe to others. So hopefully that helped you out. If you need any assist other assistance, please let me know, and I would definitely um, not hesitate to um, help you. So until then, uh, until the next video, I will see you soon.